Okay, so just take two on these horizontal mouse wheel sliders using standard Elementor widgets. Um, so we've got here a standard slider, uh, we've got a testimonial carousel, and we've got an image slider. And code that I did for this was quite rough. And there's a couple of problems to solve, which I've worked out today, and I've got a new version of it, which I'll release. So one of the problems is if I scroll into the slider here, what I'm detecting is the actual mouse over and mouse out to determine which slider I should um, scroll. Turns out that's not the best strategy. So if I scroll here, the second issue is that when I'm scrolling, it doesn't show the entire slide. So I've got the slide as 100 view height, but because I'm sliding, I'm not doing any vertical sliding until we get to the last slide. Same with the going backwards with our mouse wheel. Until we get to the last slide, it doesn't vertically scroll, so we're not seeing the whole slide. So that's problem number one. Problem number two was the shift. I see on the last slide there, we get a bit of a shift that jumps on the last slide. That was the second problem that we had. So what I've done is I've updated the code. I'm not going to go through the old code. Uh, I'm just going to go back to this page here, and I'm going to copy and paste my new code into here. I think it's a lot quicker than uh, retyping it all, and I'll go through it quickly. So what we've done here is we've got rid of the um, the mouse over, so the hover, to determine which slide are we going to horizontally scroll or not. Um, and we've replaced that with the wheel event. So when the scroll event happens, it looks at the target, so what's directly underneath the mouse when you scroll. Um, and based on the target, where are we? I'm pulling the target and the delta y out of the uh, event, the mouse wheel. Uh, where are we? So we look for our swiper container based on what that target is. So we get a jQuery reference, find the closest slider. Um, and then if there's no slider, just the set the um, current slider to undefined. Uh, we're not going to do anything else here uh, because we're returning when it's um, not defined anyway. So if it does find a current slide, so the mouse wheel is scrolling over a slider container, then we go to the stage here where we get the uh, reference to the swiper. So it's a JavaScript reference and store that on our uh, current swiper variable. Get the original count from the data that we stored. This part hasn't changed from the original code. So we, we got the length or the number of slides that actually um, are there before swiper initializes and adds all the uh, extra slides um, to that. So we get the, that count. Um, we look for the contain scroll here. So that was just the attribute we set over there on, on the swiper. Um, if it's set to yes, we set our contain scroll. So all we're doing here is setting our variable. So our current swiper, the original count, whether it was, we're going to contain the scroll or not. Um, and that's all that block's doing there. So this block here, we've added a new attribute called scroll to view. Uh, and what that's going to do is it looks for the attribute of it set to yes, um, then it gets the actual DOM element. So the swiper container at this stage is a jQuery collection. Um, so we want to actually get the first element, which is the swiper container. We want to scroll that into view. I've got it set to center, so it'll center on the screen, and we want it to be smooth. And that's pretty much the changes that I've made. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Five. Okay, so now what you'll notice is when I'm scrolling down into my first swiper here, if I go into there and swipe, there it's scrolled, this is a 100 VH section, so that's scrolled so that it's centered, so it's covering the entire screen. If I keep scrolling, get to the last one, then it slides vertically. I get to my testimonial slider, and that also, so if I go up again, if I start scrolling on that, it will center it on the screen. 
I've got this slider, the image slider down there. If I move my mouse over that and start sliding, it moves it to the center of the screen. So the idea of that is that if you start scrolling while it's only half visible, it's not just going to horizontally scroll. Uh, you could easily create an attribute for the, you know, whether it's center, top or bottom. Uh, I think it's, why don't we just check something here? Uh, start, uh, so center, start, or end. So similar to your flex property. So if we set, where are we? If we set this block to start, it's going to scroll that element to be the top of the view. If you set it to bottom, it's going to scroll to be the bottom of the view. Center, it'll put it in the middle of the view. That's pretty cool. And like I've done with these, uh, attributes we could easily create another attribute so i could put for example if i go to my image carousel um, into my attributes i can add a third attribute here which would be say um, a block position and make that center and then what over in the code what we do is we look for that attribute Actually, we're going to add make the word data the data block position center and then over in our code here what we could do is we could actually get the data there so we could go uh swipe a container the let the constant uh position equals uh swipe a container dot data what do I call it? I can't remember now. Go back to it. Use carousel. Uh, block position. Okay, and then we could send that to position okay so now what we know is on each of those other blocks let's let's actually make that work so i'm going to grab that attribute that i just set there i'm going to set that on these other two so i'm going to set that on the top one this one doesn't really matter i might change the height on that so we can actually see ah, let's make that say 80 view height uh, and then what we'll do is on the top one, so on the, on the top slider, let's change those attributes. So we're going to scroll into view, yes, and we're going to put that as wipe start on our image carousel. We'll make that Oops, I used a colon there. Should be a pipe. Center. And on our... Sorry, that's a testimonial carousel. Sorry, let's have a look at that. Testimonial carousel. Short of you, yes. We'll make that end. So now what our code is going to do is going to look for data attribute of uh, uh, data block position and that's the position it's going to scroll into view so let's have a look at what that looks like okay let's firstly go to our sliding heading one and that's up to the top let's go down to our uh, testimonial carousel and that's moved it to the bottom Let's go to our image carousel, and that's moved it to the center. That's pretty cool. Um, so all we need to do to get these things working, once you've got this JavaScript there, all we need to do is on any of the Elementor widgets that use a swiper library, so the carousels, uh, the uh, sliders, whatever, we just go to that, sorry, that um, widget, and we add swiper horizontal slide as a class. Um, go to our attributes. Uh, 
tell it how we want it to behave. So we want to scroll into view, yes. So or if we don't, it's just going to display part of the slide when you're scrolling. Um, data block position, where do we want it to be positioned? So it's the start, center, or end. And the other attribute, which I'm not seeing here, have a look at the phone carousel. Slides carousel, sorry. Uh, the data contain scroll. So if that's set to no, um, what that does is it gets to the last slide and then it'll do a vertical scroll. If it's or if it gets to the first scroll and you're scrolling up, it'll go a vertical scroll. If it's set to yes, it, as long as you've got your mouse over that uh, slider, um, doing a uh, mouse scroll towards you, we'll go to the next slide, doing a mouse slide away from you, a mouse scroll, I should say, away from you, we'll go to the previous slide, and it'll just sit on that. So I'm just going to very quickly show you that again. So I'm going to do that one as a yes. I've got three attributes. Data contains scroll is set to yes. We want, to scroll, we want it to scroll on the view and we want it to be at the start. So this is going to go to the top of the page. Uh, it's going to scroll that, and it's going to, as long as we've got the mouse over it, it's going to continue to scroll horizontally. That. Go up. There we go. So it gets to one. Instead of going up, it goes to five. We go across. Five. And loops around to one. So that's as simple as that. Just changing those attributes can change this behavior. Uh, then we go to the next one. This is set to not contain. So to get to the last one, and we go mouse, uh, mouse wheel towards me again, and we're going to scroll vertically. Same with this one. So if we scroll towards me, going next, it's the last one, and it's going to scroll vertically. Scroll away from me, goes previous, the last one, and it scrolls vertically. So pretty handy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that as it is. I think that's pretty much production ready as far as I'm concerned. So hopefully that's uh, something that you feel you can use. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll do the same as I did with the last one, where I'll export uh, this template and um, I'll share it. And uh, yeah, good luck with that.